everybody, I'm Optimistic Jace here with Optimistic Gaming bringing you a quick update. Um, basically what's been happening is I've been really busy as of late and I haven't had a chance to uh, edit and finish the videos that I plan on doing. Um, so I'm finishing up a bunch right now. Um, I finished Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Uh, I just have the last couple videos to finish editing and to upload. Uh, then I'm also working on my next uh, on my next uh, optimistic perspective. Uh, that's going to be coming on the first April first, and it will be on Final Fantasy Thirteen. I uploaded a few videos of me uh, playing that just to refresh myself uh, with the game and to get some footage to uh, put in the video. Um, I know it seems like I go a bit hard and negative on it, um, I mean there were a lot of aspects of it that I didn't like, but it does have a lot of redeeming qualities that I think make it a good game overall. Um, I have further optimistic perspectives uh, coming later on down the line on some other games that I, I still need to go through and uh, still need to go through and collect the, the footage that I need. Um, but there will be more coming soon. I have a few more Let's Plays that I've got underway. Uh, Dark Souls 3, that'll definitely be coming soon. I'm playing through most of the game just so it's not uh, a bunch of videos of me dying over and over and over again. And it looks like I semi-know what I'm doing. Um, I also did not know that the Xbox One version comes with a copy of the original Dark Souls, which I never beat the original Dark Souls. I only got about three boxes in before I quit, so I'll probably be doing a Let's Play or a video on that as well. And I also have a super secret project that I'm working on that's, uh, that I think most of you guys are going to like. It's really for fantasy nerds and that kind of stuff, uh, but it's uh, recounting tales from my past. Um, but if all that interests you, uh, I encourage you to keep uh, watching, uh, like, comment, and subscribe to Optimistic Gaming, and I will keep the content a coming out. Um, and with that, I'm Optimistic Jace. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot. I'm going to have a Loot Crate unboxing video. I got my first one uh, ever, so that's coming too. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Okay, my first Loot Crate. Uh, April's theme this month is Quest. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get ready to take a look in here. Um, now, the first step with any Loot Crate is to pop the tab and open her up. Uh, it's always important to have the proper tools. So let's see, let me get my thing here. All right, and there we go, tab popped. Just as easy as one, two, three, presto. All right, now I just pop this open. Let's see what's in here. Oh, so we got got a shirt. Uh, who's on this? Ah, oh, David Bowie. Rest in peace. Um, looks like David Bowie Labyrinth shirt. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put it on. Boom. There we go. Done. How about that? Easy as one, two, three. Okay. Moving on to the next thing here. What we got? Uh, let's see here. Let's open up this box. What's in here? Oh, it looks like a little rubber ball. Oh no, not a rubber ball. That is, oh my god, a 20-sided dice ice cube tray. Fill this up with water, put it in your freezer, you'll have a giant 20-sided ice cube. Uh, next thing, uh, this little brown bag, what's in here? Looks like a string, necklace of some sort, maybe? Well, let's see here. Um, oh no, it is a battle horn. Looks like you could fill this up with whatever you want to drink. Uh, rinse it out first, of course. Uh, or blow into it. Done. Okay. Moving on to the next thing, looks like we got us uh, some socks. Oh, not just any socks, Harry Potter socks showing off all the horcruxes. Uh, let's see, moving on, we got a stick pin. Looks like 20 sided die stick pin, quest for life. Uh, let's see here, looks like we got us a little poster, a little poster in here. Uh, let's unroll that, and who is it but Nathan Drake? I am a man of fortune poster. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh. 